sleep is like t- like just time travel, bro. Like <laughs> I just go to sleep, wake up, all right, ready to like. That's how I look at it. Like I'm on like a road trip or something, or like I'm flying. Like exactly, let me just skip bro. this flight. They hopped off the stage and they were like, bro. They went up to Kip and they were like, they were like, <laughs> singing to him and stuff. <laughs> Everybody was like, whoa, whoa. I was considered a striper my own age group. I'm Nick Anderson. I play receiver. I'm Kenny Helms. I'm a tight end here at Oklahoma. It's still going? Yeah, it's still going. Dang, like, <laughs> okay. Rolls out the tongue, good. Okay. What's up, Red Dirt fam? Me and Nick are very excited to announce our first official sponsor with HelloFresh. If you don't know what they are, they're a company that allows you to get food delivered right to your doorstep with just a touch of your finger. And I don't know about you, but I love variety of my meal choices. And with HelloFresh, you can get a lot of different varieties, over 40 different options. They personally help us out a lot. HelloFresh, we can just pop a meal in the microwave real quick and then just get on about our day. They actually sent some to us and I, I thought it was really good. It was really easy, just popped it in the microwave and it was ready to go. If you want to try some out for yourself, go to hellofresh.com slash 50 red dirt and use our promo code 50 red dirt for 50% off plus free shipping. Welcome back to Red Dirt. We're gonna do something a little bit different this time. You know, we don't have a special guest and uh, it's just gonna be me and Kaden. You know, we haven't checked in in a while. So we thought we'd just knock out a quick little episode right here. So, you know, yeah, keep y'all involved. And you know, we gotta, gotta give what the fans want, so. Yeah, the OGs. Yeah, OGs, OGs. for real. <laughs> but um, I guess, I mean, we'll just hop right into it. You know, classes are right around the corner. They start tomorrow, it's Sunday right now, so. Just, you know, I mean, are you excited? I mean. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, so I, like, we have the same major now, but yeah. my major was, um, like, health and exercise sciences, but then I changed it to communications and sports business. So, like, mm. me and, like, me and you got, like, pretty much the same classes. But oh, we do? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, your schedule is easier for some reason. Yeah, wait, so you have, you have classes like every single day, right? I have two every day. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of bad. That was, that was my schedule like last semester, but this semester is like way easier. I think I only have uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday are my classes, like my class days. And then Tuesday, Thursday, I have, I have off. But I do have like uh, online classes. Yeah. Do you have any online classes? I have no idea, honestly. That's probably what it is. No, you don't I, don't any... think I, I don't think I do. Yeah, that's what it is. They probably they just all... made all of your classes in person. Yeah. Wait, it's... oh, because you have online classes? Yeah, I have two oh. online classes and then two Makes in person. Sense. Makes, sense. Makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I think it would be... I'm not looking forward to public speaking though. But like, it's kind of ironic because like, we have because you're Yeah, yeah <laughs> I know, right? But it's different It's different when you have like an audience. Yeah, it is different. But, but nah, overall, I'm looking forward to it, I think. I think it'll be a good year for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of crazy. We've already been through this once already. So this is our, technically, our, what, our fourth semester? Yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, insane. But um, we got a whole new group of freshmen coming in, class of 2027. What, what advice? What, what advice would you give them? Some advice for their first I would, year on a college campus. Some advice I would give them. I would just say that's a good question, actually. Yeah. Let's let's talk about dorm rooms first. Dorm rooms. What advice do you have for them according to the dorm rooms? I would say dorm rooms. Honestly, just keep it like you don't got to keep it like spotless, but like. I feel like it is kind of true, like how your room looks is kind of like representative of like your, like how you are, yeah. like your mental state and like all that. So what, like if, what does BB say? How you do every, how you do anything? How you do everything. How you do anything is how you do everything. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. You know but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, just like, I would, I would say overall, like one thing that's like, I've, I've noticed, like I, I just started like making my bed every day before I like mm. go out. And like, ever since I've been doing that, like, I feel like I'm more like prepared for the day and like, I don't know, I feel like it, it like kickstarts my day and like gets me organized and so I'm like, I don't Definitely. know if that's like weird to say, but like. Nah, it's facts. But yeah, I would just say like overall, just keep it clean and like not spotless, but it is kind yeah. of representative. I would say like you. also like having a good relationship with your RA. Yes. Cause they're gonna come in clutch sometimes. I even, th- I, I saw like on one of the little messenger boards that we have like in the hallway, um, it, w- it said like, if you call this number, like they'll come pick you up, like if you're out. For real? Yeah, like if you're out on I campus. Just, I just saw a. Uh, I just sent somebody to pick. 
I Who? saw Jado. Really? Like, yeah. Oh I my gosh. Him, I haven't like, seen him in like forever. I saw him like two weeks ago. Our old already. That's insane. But um, also, I would say soak it up low key. Like, not like, obviously, dorms are like love hate yeah. relationship, but like being like around every single one of like, the people in your class is low-key. Like, I low-key miss that. I'm and, like, the wild. friends that you make, you're yeah. going to have them for a while. Because, like, it's pretty much, like, just living in, like, a hotel, honestly. Like, you have, like, every one you came in with, like, uh, like above you, below you, like, a couple doors over. Yeah. So. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I still remember. But you remember when, um, I think it was Pete and uh, Owen punched a hole through the... <laughs> Through the, through the hallway, the I hallway know. wall. How did that even happen? I think they were wrestling or something, and then it escalated. That is like a that is we, like a dorm memory though. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like you need at least a couple of those. Yeah, like. but oh, back to like keeping your like dorm clean. You remember when like our floor had that infestation of fruit flies? Yes, bro. <sighs> yes. I think that was like a that was like a Headington like because other people had it, bro. Yeah, no, it was definitely like. And, like, it was that time of year where, like, it was, like, hot and, like, humid. I, was, I remember thinking, I was like, there's no way we're this it, dirty. For real, we, cl- we like, cleaned up no extra and we're like, why are there still, like, they're, like, flying around? And then we go to somebody else's room and it's just. Same thing. Man. No, no. You remember when we went to, I forget whose room it was, but it was just messy. And, like, there was fruit flies everywhere, bro. Yeah. It was disgusting. You're living in filth. That is part of the love hate related. That I would say that's one thing I just I did not like. But I would say like outside of dorm life, like just overall life, I would just say soak up as much information as you can. Like don't don't obviously don't think you know it all, but like just be like moldable and be like yeah. adaptable to it's kind of like when you stuff. find your routine and like yeah find what you you know what works for you yeah routine is key but when it comes to classes what do you think what do you think incoming freshmen should know classes honestly I would last year I like went and like I would say it's definitely necessary to know where the buildings are like I would say like oh yeah either go like today like the day before classes or like a couple of days before it, at least mm-hmm. not know the cl- like necessarily where the classrooms are, but at least just get building. like a layout because like sometimes the it low-key gets overwhelming if you don't like, and sometimes don't even... sometimes the maps doesn't know like yes. if there's a new building then the maps won't like pick up and it's like wait this is a, this is a Dale Hall yeah. where's Dale Hall at I'm not gonna lie last year I was kind of overwhelmed because Except most of my classes last year were in, were in Dale. Yeah, but the one class I wasn't, I was so lost. Like it took me so long to find it, bro. Yeah, and also like find someone older than you to, you know, talk to. Cause big like, brother program. Big bro. Shout out K. You know what I'm saying? K McIntyre. <laughs> yeah. Fellow for fellow. You know, you know what? Let's, let's let's jump into that. Harp on the the big big brother program. What what is that? Big brother program is basically like, did did Nunez start it or Venables? Uh, Nunez like. Or I think, I think I think Nunez like put the idea out there because he I remember he talked about him having it at his old yeah uh, basically it's just a program school. for like older or I guess I'm not like technically my little brother was Josh last semester but he's older than me but like just newcomers just, yeah it's basically a program for just newcomers that they like pair you up with um, someone who's already been here for yeah. however long and we basically are just like mentors. Um, to our little brothers, like uh, last last um, semester, my little brother was Josh um, Faneuil. We had him on a couple episodes ago, and then yeah. this semester it's um, K McIntyre. But I mean, yeah, I like it a lot. I mean, it also I think it does a like good job of getting us closer, like people, like not that we wouldn't have gotten close to, but just We're like just on the team. You yeah, know? like even like get it closer to our position groups because I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure it's like. They go, it goes by position groups, right? Like, your little brother's uh, in your position not, group? No, not necessarily. Really? I, I, um, I was a big brother to Caleb Hicks Oh, uh, okay. last, last semester. But, yeah, it overall just, I feel like it also helps the younger players, like, feel more accepted. Like, yeah. Because yeah. I know when you come in, like, there's, like, 120 new faces. Like, yeah, it's a, it's, a it's, little, it's a little overwhelming. Overwhelming just a little for bit. sure, man. But, yeah, I like it. Who's your... Who's your little brother? I don't got a little brother this time. See, bro. Yeah. They, I mean, we have we have Petaway, but who's Petaway's big brother? I don't know, actually. Does he have I one? think it's... I don't know. 
don't know. They, I, I must have not done a good job last year <laughs> or last semester. I don't know. <clears throat> yes, to decide, honestly. I was going <laughs> on a on another on another subject. Um, how would you how would you say your fall camp was, man? Uh, it was just, good. Just finished. It was up, good. You know I I, uh, I my main focus just going through fall camp was just staying healthy. Honestly, just as long as I was out there every practice, then it was a it was a win. But um. It got it got hot some days. I'm not gonna lie. There was there was one day I lost ten pounds. Yeah. Oh, I remember one day like it was like it was like people. it was like the first or second day. It was steaming outside, and I lost. Uh, we we weigh uh, we weigh ourselves before and after every practice, so we know like how much moisture, how much water weight we lost, so we know like what to like how much we need to drink to get it back and. Um, I weighed in the morning, I, I like around, I want to say like 209 maybe, 208, came back and I was like 198. Bro, Yeah, what? And it, was, it was bad. It was Did bad. you throw up or was it just No, I didn't, I didn't, it was just, it was just all sweat. Like my clothes were drenched, my shoes were drenched, like my gloves, I had to switch out gloves. I still Dang. switch out gloves because I still sweat profusely. Yeah, I remember Drake was talking about when he was like, he was sweating through his cleats, like it was like yeah. squishing. Yes, like that's set, the bro. worst. That's, that's the disgusting. worst yeah, like <laughs> sensation. It's, that's disgusting. Like, it's terrible. Because like, then you then you feel like you're like heavy footed. But then like, like blisters, bro. Like yeah, I, I didn't even rubbing against. I didn't wet, even think about like, blisters. That is disgusting. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was cramping bad that practice. Bro, some people like, especially in the last practices, like last couple practices, like some people were throwing up. Like it was so. <laughs> Hot this week, I mean, bro. There was a linebacker. So Ooh, hot. Yeah, no, it, it's been crazy. It's been like in the 105s, 106s. Yeah, like, yeah, during the day, it hasn't been below 100 degrees in like the week. Yeah, that's bro. insane. And like at night, it goes down to like, what, 85? 90, <laughs> yeah, like, bro, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, get to cool off. <laughs> but nah, uh, there was a linebacker uh, out there on the field. We were running a team session, and right before the play, he just, yeah. And then he starts chasing the ball. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't can't stop just because you throw it up a little bit. But no, nah, that practice was crazy. I think I think uh, coach said we had like around thirty guys that uh, were having hydration issues that practice. And yeah. It was it's really. I mean, you can drink all you want, but at some point it's just it gets to us. It gets to a certain temperature. Yeah. Honestly, who would you say like were some like standouts like or like during this fall camp? Yeah, during the fall camp. I mean. Being a receiver, J10 has been slinging that rock. Yeah. So I think Jackson Arnold yeah. has been a real good standout. He's been he's been stepping up uh, lately. But um, I mean, also in the receiver room, mentioned him earlier, Petaway, Jacquez, he's been going stupid. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he he really had to step up. Uh, we don't have many slots, but uh, we do have some good slots. But we don't have many, so he's been stepping up and uh, making some plays here and there. Uh, our tight ends, you know, Bug. Bug's been going crazy. Yeah. We'll love, love to see it. Yeah. Um, dang, who else? On the defensive side, I mean, our corners are stepping up. They're getting a lot of rotations. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually curious to see who they're going to start. Yeah, I don't know. But, I haven't really seen. I haven't really, like, yeah. I don't know. It's, we definitely have a lot of, like, competitive depth. Definitely. So, like, well, that's, that's good, though. I feel like it's something, like, we added on opposed to last year. Yeah. Like, we saw a competitive depth last year, but like the, I feel like this year, especially since everyone's been in the system for like, not everyone, but like the, the returners, yeah, have been in the system for going on two years now. Like, I know for me personally, like I'm way less confused when I look at stuff. Yeah, like, definitely. I would say some, I will say some standouts for me. Definitely, obviously, like you said, your wide receiver. I'm tight end, so I would say, for sure, Josh. Um, Cause it's also it's also funny cause, <laughs> like, Josh is just so like spontaneous, bro. Like, <laughs> like he'll like, I don't even know I don't even know how to explain it, bro. But what are you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> like, like he'll like make like the most like insane play, and then if you try to like hype him up, bro, he's like, bro, stop that. Like, like I, I do this, bro. Like, like I do this, bro. <laughs> It's just like, all right, bro, whatever. And then um, 
I would say Cade, Cade uh, McIntyre too. Oh yeah. Like obviously his like not issue, but just like setback right now is just not like knowing everything. But yeah, just not knowing the playbook. That's, yeah, that's know, what all the freshmen are dealing with right now. I know, now. I know Finley's really high on him, and really like the whole tight end group, like Blake, Jason, Stog, even Ham, bro. Ham's been looking, Ham, Loki's been going going crazy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He was a. Uh, I remember there was one play. Um, I think it was during the scrimmage. I was running down the sideline, and he was he was lucky. No, he, he was, was, lucky he was trying to keep up with you. He was lucky right? chopping. I'm not gonna lie. I was moving now. I was, I'm not slow. He was lucky keeping up with you. He me. was. I ain't gonna lie. And, uh, um, but yeah, love to see it. <laughs> but yeah, I would say one thing about our tiny group. Obviously, we have like way more people than we had last year. I think yeah, like definitely. Four, maybe four more tight ends than we had last they year. Got a lot more depth. But like, we're all like technically me and Jason like have the most experience in the playbook. It was just like something weird because like we're some of the youngest or like, yeah, pretty much, yeah, some of the youngest. But like no one like holds grudges. Like even like we'll help out like if Stog needs like help on a play, we'll help mm -hmm. him. Like we all help each other without, like there's no like. There's no like animosity. Yeah, there's no like, anim like we all want to see each other be great. Yeah. Which sometimes I really like. I, that, that's what I really like about this team. But nobody has any Ill, Ill will or, you know, bad intentions. Everyone's yeah. just for each other. You know, there's no, like, favoritism or there's no, like, um, jealousy. Yeah. Everyone's just trying to win, so. And I ain't gonna lie, on defense, Kit, bro. He hey. has, I, he's been going Kip crazy. Kit Lewis, hey. He's Watch out for 10 he's now. He's been holding it down. Yeah. He's been holding it down. <laughs> he's gonna get a lot of playing time this year. Yeah. Definitely. Nah, but, yeah. Competitive depth is, like I said, probably one of the the biggest things I've been seeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I I think I'm, I'm starting my question a little early. Like my... It's never too early. <laughs> it's never too early. It's never too early for Caden's Would You Rather, honestly. What do we, do, do, we not, have, do we have like a name for it last time with Gavin's podcast? It was like Caden's question. Yeah, I think it was Caden's question. Questions with Caden. <laughs> <laughs> ESPN. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely it's, need copyrighted. It's not even a would you rather, bro. Oh, okay. What is it? It's just like a... All right. Hear me out, bro. I'm hearing. Hold on. Let me make sure I don't say it wrong. Oh, my God. All right. Can you smell warm? Think about it. Can I what? Smell warm. Like, like a warm... Like a pot, bro. And you, like, push your nose next to it. Can you smell it? Like... Can you smell the heat? No. I don't know, bro. It has like a certain, it does What? <laughs> it has like a certain I don't know, aroma. I don't know how to explain it, bro. Whatever you're boiling off, maybe, but like. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, or whatever you're like heating up, maybe the it radiation, gives off that smell. The radiation itself. But like itself. heat itself, your nose is just feeling no, 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 it. The skin listen, on your listen, nose is just listen, feeling the it. The radiation itself. From the radiate, whatever right. you want to call it, no, yeah, from, okay, go ahead. from the pot or whatever the thing is that is warm. Like, okay, I can like smell it, bro. Like, I don't know how. I don't even know how to put like. So you just it's wake basically up, like you saying, just wake up and you're like, it's gonna be a hot day. No, no, <laughs> no, bro. I'm saying like objects, like, and even when it's hot outside, like you can just smell. So if I heat, if I bro. heated up a metal ball. And then, no, nah, because then you're going to smell metal. You're going to be like, I can smell the warmth. <laughs> but, like, if I heated up an object. No, bro. And then, like, <laughs> I just, you're not listening. I, just, I blindfolded you, and I just kind of, like, passed it through. And you couldn't feel it. Yes, I could smell you it, You would bro. say that you could, oh, yeah, smell that warmth. Yes. That's so, so cap. Bro, That's cap. if you blindfolded me, like, I mean, I guess that's really only all you need. If you blindfolded me and, like, place me in like outside I, no, outside I, on a cold day and outside on a hot day and like took away my like sense of like all your feel, other senses you could only smell i could smell which bro i'm telling you like i don't know what it is okay, but, like bro you're delusional there's I'm no way you, <laughs> there's no, how did you like discover this i don't oh it was because i was i was making a bowl of mac and cheese but like and you smell no, no, no i didn't smell the mac like, and cheese bro i didn't warm. smell the mac and cheese like I don't even know how to explain it, bro. Like, first of all, I forgot I put it in the microwave. Right? Okay. But like, when I took it out, it was still hot, and because you touched it. Yeah, yeah. But, and I like gave it a little, a little smell, right? And it didn't smell like mac and cheese. It just smelled like 
warmth, bro. Like, you know, like... I'm, I'm done arguing like, with you about this. This doesn't even make any sense at all. Are you hearing what you're saying? <sighs> you're just um, smelling Someone warm. out there is going to understand what I mean, bro. No, like, I don't think anybody... You're just... Lo- you're low-key bro. hating, bro. You're not even I'm opening not, your I'm mind. I'm not even hating. It's just... You're not even opening your mind, so, like... <laughs> you're telling me you can't smell... Like, there's not a different smell like a hot day than there's a cold day, like... I mean... Of course, but it's not because of the, t- like, it's not the temperature so alone. So if the temperature alone is the only thing that changed, what, how is it not the temperature? What? You're making my brain hurt. <laughs> you're making my brain You said hurt. it's not the temperature that you're smelling. It's but not. Like, the temperature it's, is it's, the only thing if changing. It's, if it's summer, then it's, there's going to be a lot of, like, what, pollen in the air, the plants are blooming and stuff. Okay, but, like, I don't know how So you're smelling all that. Smell of the flowers. What is winter? There's nothing. It's just but it dead, doesn't smell cold. like. Okay, you know when you drink water, how would you describe the taste of water? You can't. Like it just tastes like water, bro. Like, <laughs> like there's no. You can't describe it, right? I guess I can't. So that's the same. Like the way I can smell heat is like I just can't. It just has its own aroma. You know oh what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, bro. I'm not... If you put room temperature. Like items of food out, and one was hot, and I ran my nose across it. I would be. You would like, feel the. Heat. I would detect you. Know, you would no, feel no, no, the no, heat no, coming no, off no, of no. it. Take away my. Take away my. Take away your feel. touch. I'm okay. I'm smelling it, bro. Yeah, that's, that was my. That was my question. Oh, that was ne- my ne- ne- next, next topic. That was my topic. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> fall camp officially ended. So, <laughs> yesterday we had camp boo boo. Pretty sure some of. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure the audience is. Definitely seen it already. On, it's been posted. Yeah, IG. On, oh yeah, on Instagram. Uh, you you weren't there, obviously, but I just want to talk about it a little bit. <laughs> we had some we had some Beast contestants. Mode. <laughs> <laughs> Beast mode. Beast mode. <laughs> Beast mode. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why they call it Beast Mode? No. But they told us at, at camp. Wait, isn't because he Boom. said something about it? Yes. He was like, he was like, wh- who's the player you like? Mo- no, no, it wasn't. Song. It wasn't that. It was um. He posted on, <laughs> on Twitter a selfie of him, like after he got like a, a haircut or something. Oh, it's and a he was like, song? he said like unleash the beast or some <laughs> something like that. And like, I, I forgot exactly what Coach Chavis said, but he had to have a uh, Tawi tell him because it's like a running back inside joke, and then it spread to the rest of the team. Beast mode, yeah. bruh. Beast mode. But beast mode. Beast mode one, can't boom boom. If you don't know what can't boom boom is, it's basically. You're tell me who beast mode is, bro. I'm, I'm going to tell him who beast mode is later. <laughs> if you want to know what can't boom boom is, it's, um, it's like a karaoke for the newcomers. So it's like all the incoming freshmen, anybody who just got there, like coaches, et cetera. Like um, Coach Wilson, Coach Jones had to do it. They did. Coach uh, JB had to do it. He, I mean, he's been here. Oh, bro. JB had to do yeah, it? Yeah, he had to do it. <laughs> Uh, but basically, you get a group and you just do karaoke in front of the whole team. And I'm like, oh wow, the team was kind of harsh. Like <laughs> last year, they were harsh, bro. No, they year? were even more harsh. For real? Like the audience was like, if you missed a single word, word, they were hucking p- like paper at you, <laughs> <laughs> like paper balls that they grow. <laughs> and somebody threw a water bottle on stage. Bro, I saw, bro, I saw someone threw like a like. Hat or something. It was like some like big object, bro. It might have know. been a wig. Somebody threw a wig on. Stage. I saw that, bro. Like a wig? Where do you yeah, get right. a wig bro? from? Backstage. Oh. Man, they got it from backstage and threw it on. Someone's weave, bro. <laughs> that is crazy. If you take off your own weave to throw it, that means they had to be. Really they had to trash. be on different. They like, had to be so bad. To- <laughs> but now we had some good song choices. We had Fetty Wap. Um, what do we else? We had Tennessee Whiskey that played. Fetty Wap isn't a song, bro. Uh, I'm just saying, like, the artist Fetty Wap played. Oh. It was Trap Queen, if we must be oh. getting, you know. Well, you said we had some technical. good songs. Fetty Wap. Like. Anyways, anyways, anyways. <laughs> um, what else? What else was played? Oh, Soldier Boy. <laughs> they played, oh, they played Crank that. that. They played Gabe's song, bro. Yeah, Gabe, bro, at the very end. We have a, a Young Angel. Check him out. Uh, Gabe uh, has like uh, some music that he does on the side, and it's actually really good. Like, it probably, it's probably one of the best on the team. I'm not gonna lie, you heard it first. But uh, uh, they all got into play uh, or perform uh, one of his songs at the end, and everybody was going crazy. It was, uh, it was dope. But um, but yeah, Beast Mode won the whole thing though. He won the whole competition, and he played he played 
out of what is the song called? Beast Mode? Is it called Beast Mode? Yeah. He played the song Beast Mode and he said two <laughs> words. He said, I'm Beast Mode. And he won. <laughs> That's all it took. That's all it took. Two words and he won. He won the whole He's crowd. He's a hot commodity, bro. He is a hot commodity. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> everybody, everybody wants to be Beast Mode. Who, uh, what song did Coach Jones do? <laughs> what did he do, bro? I feel like he did some old, like, bro, he, like he, R&B he, or song, bro. He came out, bro, he came out. He said, he said, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it by myself. He came out by himself, walked on that, Kodak, Kodak. popped up on the, on the back, and we were like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I forgot what, it was like, um, it was it was some Kodak song, but it was it was it wasn't an easy song to perform, and he ended up like not knowing most of it. So he just he got everybody hype. Everybody's like, "Oh yeah, Kodak!" He was dabbing people up before the song started, and then it started, and he was like, "Bro!" And then no, but uh, JG JG knew the lyrics, and he hopped up there with them and started doing it with them. But uh, they ended up getting booed off stage, but. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you got you got to throw it in there. <laughs> but nah, Coach Coach Jones had a good like ten seconds, twenty seconds where he like knew the lyrics, and then after that he was like, ah. Who do you think was like the best like actual like actual performance? Who like who did the song like knew the song Ooh. the best? Oh, knew the song the best? Probably Payne Boeing for Tennessee Whiskey. Oh, for real? yeah, he <laughs> knew the whole song. Didn't even I saw have, you had the hat. He on. barely even had to look at the words. But um, the best performance, I'm not going to lie, I love you, Beast Mode. But I think it has to go to uh, uh, Coach Nunez's group because they did it by position. Oh, It was all the specialists. Yeah, it was the specialists, bro. They, what, are they, what song? They did, uh, it was Drake. Bro, they did, um, dang, bro, what was it called? If Kip was here, he would know it in an instant. <laughs> he loves Drake. What? I forgot, but you know Drake's songs, they're all like, it's towards a female. But they were like singing it to like the crowd. They were like, they hopped off the stage and they were like, bro, they went up to Kip and they were like, they were like <laughs> singing to him and stuff. <laughs> Everybody was like, whoa, whoa. Nah, but they had the best performance. Uh, it, it, it was like, it was like actually funny. And like they actually did a good job on the song. So I had to give it to them. They have, wait, did Venables do it last year? Uh, nah, he did it. We tried to get him to do it this year too, but he, they he wasn't it. messing with it? He wasn't messing with Dang. it. Yeah. How, hey, how my tight end group do, though? Because then they go with, like, Let me, it was Josh, Ham, Cade, Blake. What? And wasn't Stog up there? He got to be up there, right? Yeah. It must not have been good because I can't remember <laughs> what they Damn. did. They definitely got booed off stage. Oh, I know. I remember a song. <sighs> they threw paper at him. Finley, Coach Finley sent us a video of it, but I forgot what song it yeah, was. Yeah, no, it was. It, love y'all, but it wasn't that good. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. Oh, I think it was one of the linebackers came out with like a a gun that shoots uh, money. Well, didn't Beast Mode do that too? Did he like he, throw money? He, in yeah, he, he just grabbed the money and threw it because <laughs> it was all over the floor after that one performance. <laughs> oh, I love Beast Mode. What, what's your, uh, on, a, on, on back to fall camp, but what's your daily fall camp schedule look like because a lot of people don't understand like it's not just a normal day like yeah it's not, and like it's different <laughs> it was it was a, and i'm not gonna lie like the schedule this year was way better than last year's like just from a, yeah. like a like a i don't know just an organized i don't know how to i, I don't know how to say it, but it wasn't like as strenuous on like our mind and body yeah but like they, they added the off day on thursday so yeah we had an so off day on thursday but basically it was it's Monday through, uh, Monday through Saturday, and but excluding Thursday, of course, because that's when we had like our team bonding events. But uh, usually every day, wake up six thirty. Uh, six thirty is actually when uh, breakfast starts, and I just get in my car, get in my scooter, and ride to the facility. Get there about I don't know six forty-five, and then I'll I'll immediately hop in the hot tub. Uh, warm up, warm up the muscles a little bit, warm up the joints, and then uh, I'll go to the locker, get my loop. It has all has all of our clothes on it that we need for practice, and then uh, I'll go get taped. Uh, shout out JJ Bonk, he tapes me every morning. JJ, yeah, JJ, <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> Sorry. Tissue, bro? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, <laughs> my sinuses are really bad right now. But uh, anyways, uh, after that, I go eat breakfast. And then after that, we have our team meeting at 8. Then we have segment meetings. Uh, before that, special teams. That is segments. Then we get on our buses, go to the practice fields, which are different than our practice fields normally because um, I actually don't know why, but we go to the different fields. I thought it was because, like, uh, wasn't there something with, like, people were trying to, like, record our practices from, like, the buildings? Oh, I did. Like I did hear that. We have a lot buildings. of buildings around yeah. our facility uh, practice fields, and uh, it's really easy for somebody to just yeah. spy on us, so... We go to the rugby fields. But we fields. also have, like, security, bro. Like, we do have security. The security's pretty deep. I ain't gonna lie. Security's like, real deep. every entrance is, like, yeah. there's, like, posts. And, like, if, I think the first the first time we were out on the fields, there was somebody out there, like, driving by with their phone out the window. Yeah. And they're like, like hey. no videos, no videos. Okay. Like, we were just warming up. <laughs> it's okay. But anyways, uh, we get to the fields probably, I don't know. We usually start, walk through around 10, 55, around there, 11. And then uh, go through practice. Practice is usually about two hours. And then um, get back on the buses, go back to the facility. Then we have about two hours to, like, to ourselves. We shower, eat. Rehab. Uh, yeah, rehab, recovery, rest, all of that. Then we come back, uh, got our meetings. Uh, time of meetings, like? Team, more segments. Two? You said how, how long? Time of meetings? meetings, like, no, 3.30? It, it varies, yeah, okay. honestly, day to day. You just got to check your team works. It's a little app we got. But um, uh, after the meetings, we'll either lift or have walkthrough. And then We're after both. that, dinner, more rest and recovery, and then back at it, 6.30 again the next morning. So start to finish, you're there from like when? Uh, I usually leave the facility at the latest I've left at like nine. nine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the latest I've ever left the facilities like nine. Because we usually get let out 8.15 by the latest. So 45 minutes to do whatever I need to do. And then get home, get some rest. Get there like 6. So yeah, 6.30. I get there around 6, 6.45. So that's literally like a 14, no, how long? Like 14, 15 hour day, bro. Yeah. That is so... for. Two and a half weeks. I'm not gonna lie though, it goes by fast just because every day is the same. So like it just kind of like yeah. you kind of like phase through every day. Yeah. I always but, say you go through the motions, but like it's just like you forget like is it, is it yeah, Thursday? Literally, is like, it literally, Friday? All the like, days just it? like blends. Like yes, like today's Sunday, but it really feels like feels like it's Saturday. Yeah. It's like, like my whole schedule got messed up. And like but, when it was Friday, bro, it just would not even. Like, it didn't even feel like. Wouldn't it. even be excited. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> it'd, be like, it'd be like Friday. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's the end of the week, but it really isn't because we have yeah. practice tomorrow. <laughs> we have a scrimmage tomorrow morning. But uh, it was a uh, fall camp was fun though. Uh, it went by fast, honestly. It went by so fast. I think ever since I got to college, Thomas has been moving really fast. Nah, for real, bro. Yeah, that's 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 another, that's another advice I'd have for the incoming freshman. Just be in the moment because Something before be. you know it, Coach before B. you know it, before you know it, it's gonna pass, and you don't know the good days until. They've already passed. So what do you say? Don't wish that you. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to recite yeah. it. I mess it up every time. <laughs> it's like, don't wish that you oh. would have when you should have. No, don't wish. No, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Don't wish that you could have when you should. No, have. don't wish that you would have. Wait. <laughs> don't wish that you would have when you could have. No, wait. Is it should have first? I don't know. I get the message. Yeah, I just don't we get the exactly we get the message, but BB has to tell it. It's basically I'm just not gonna lie. it's basically just don't wish that you would when you could have. <laughs> Long story short, <laughs> don't wish that you would have when you could have. Yeah, facts. pretty much. Yeah. But he says it just it. adds a couple more should haves and would haves and could haves. <laughs> so I got a I got a question for you, but I don't know if you're gonna like it, man. Right? What is it oh, like no. being Rodney Anderson's oh, little my brother? Oh, shut bro. up, bro. Please. <laughs> no, like, for real. Like, like, is it, I know, like, you want to, like, break, like, you want to, like, be your own person, like, not have that, like, stereotype, like, oh, you're little bro, like, yes. like oh, is, is you're, aren't you, like, yes. Rodney's little yes. brother? Like, yes. what's I would, it? I would like to be, I would like somebody to walk up to my brother <laughs> and be like, oh, you're Nick's brother? 
if that happens, I'll be I'll be set for life. You do I I won't have to do anything else. I could retire right there. But what was it uh, like as like a kid? Cause I know like you went to the Rose Bowl. Like, yeah. You went to some I mean, big, big games. Like. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'm, he's had a great career, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm proud to be his brother, little brother. But uh, little bro. <laughs> at a certain point, it gets like a little too much. <laughs> A little, little bit too much. Like I remember my first spring game, I was hurt, so I didn't play. I, re- I know exactly. What you know exactly what I'm gonna say. I've said this before, but uh, fans love y'all. But when the game is actually like playing, we can't talk to y'all. We're not allowed to. And uh, there was somebody trying to get my attention. They're like, Nick, Nick, Did this. Anderson, number four. And when that didn't work, they were they pulled out the big guns. They were like. Rodney Anderson's little little brother. <laughs> I was like, all right, if I didn't turn around to any of those, I'm definitely not turning around to that. But nah, it was funny. It was funny. I had a good laugh. But uh, but yeah, I hope that answers your question. I hope, I hope that's the last I hear of it. But I know it's not. Yeah, I mean, you can be. You're my little bro too. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You can be like double little bro type. I'm not even gonna entertain that. <laughs> but let, let's let's flip the script. I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, and we're gonna do we're gonna do some rapid fire questions. So right. it's gonna be around one word answers, and I'm just gonna give it to you, like right after right after you answer next question. All right. All right. Three, two. What is your favorite month? November. What is your favorite season? Football season. What's your favorite animal? Wait, hold on. We go back. Fall. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Giraffe. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Brown, beige, neutrals. What word do you hate hearing? Can't. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's your hero? My mom. What's your go-to pastime? What? What's your go-to pastime? Like, what do you do to pass the time? Oh, sleep. <laughs> like, straight up, just sleep. That, low keto, that's like a teleportation. What's your favorite like, food? Uh, spaghetti. <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> low keto, that's like, when, I, when I'm like bored and I like need to pass time, sleep is like, te- like just time travel, bro. Like, <laughs> I just go to sleep, wake up, all right, ready to like... <laughs> Yeah, it I feels guess like, so, yeah. It feels like nothing even, like, no time passed at all, bro. Yeah. That's I how I did that today. That's, that's how I look at it, like, I'm on, like, a road trip or something. Or, like, I'm flying. Like, exactly, let me just skip bro. this flight. <laughs> let me just go to Because today, like, cause, like, we're recording the pod at 2, and it was, like, 10.30. And yeah. I was, like, I don't want to I don't, wanna I don't wait. Wanna wait. Yeah, I was just, like, let me just go to sleep. sleep. <laughs> and I woke up, came here, and felt like nothing even changed. Like, <laughs> Nah, for real. But, uh... <laughs> Dang, I was going to say something. <sighs> Favorite pastime. Yeah, got to be sleep. That reminds me of when uh, you were trying to sleep when we were going to Arizona, and you were trying to sleep off those uh, melatonin gummies. They don't work, <laughs> bro. I literally, like, they literally do not work. They didn't work because we were cramped in a car. We were cramped in a, like... a, a, a little four-door little sedan. <laughs> With three people and three bags, like they, they didn't, they didn't three work. large people. three large suitcases. <laughs> but yeah, nah. The the trip to Arizona. So basically, I don't even know if you told this before. Like for spring yeah. break, we drove to Arizona. We drove to Phoenix yeah. from here, and it was a fourteen, 14. hour drive. And it low key wasn't that bad though. Like it was pretty bad. <sighs> it was like bad. the sights. Once we got to like New Mexico and Arizona, and like going there was way. It was way better than coming back. Yeah. Way yeah. better. Because I'm not going to lie. I had to drive through Amarillo. Yeah. Uh-uh. I would never do that again, bro. Like, my, my mom was like, around him. It was just from, flat. From, uh, bro, just <laughs> desert. Just like. We saw, saw our first tumbleweed. We saw, yeah, we saw our first tumbleweed. We saw a tumbleweed. Like, yeah. bro. That, I was, I literally, I was like, I cannot do this again. Bro. Yeah, my mom was from uh, Paris. It's like. I don't know, like an hour, For 30 real? minutes from Amarillo. It was worse than New Me- like the deserts of New Mexico. I'm not even going to lie. Really? Oh, but yeah. The deserts of Mexico are kind of cool. They, yeah, they're like mountains and like, yeah. yeah. But anyways, yeah, so <laughs> the drive, 
I, I got melatonin just basically thinking that, like I, like I said earlier, I was just going to teleport there, basically. Yeah. But did not work at all. Yeah. I wonder if, like, my I body's was like, just immune to melatonin. Because right? <laughs> I tried, to, no, take it, I tried no to take way. it before, and it just doesn't work. Maybe, same, maybe it's because you don't need it. Same thing with, like, like energy drinks. They make me tired. Like, they have the opposite effect on me, bro. Really? Like, if I drink, like, a Mountain Dew or, like, a Red Bull, I'll get tired, bro. Really? It, like, it's, like, overload. Like, like There's got to be, like, a... <laughs> so maybe you should just switch. Take melatonin when you're trying yeah, to wake up. <laughs> take energy drink when you're trying to go to sleep. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> Uh, but no, when we got to uh, when we got into Arizona and we like dr- started driving down uh, towards uh, Phoenix. Yes, the snow. Bro. Uh, what's it, Flagstaff? Yes. That I was we, like, we were like, we were like, why are our ears popping? We're like, we're like going up, <laughs> we're going up a hill. We're like, this is like weird. And then uh, or no, our ears didn't pop, but it was just like it was just like weird because it was like flat, yeah. but it was still like going up, and we just didn't realize it. And then uh, I was driving this time. And I was like, everybody was asleep, or everybody was like on their phones or something. I was like, Kip, Kip, is that snow? <laughs> it's like, we're in the middle of Arizona. It's spring. It's spring break. And it's snowing. Like, snow was actively falling. And we're like, <laughs> it, it, we're like what is happening? And it was like, it was like, uh, yeah, it was like snow was actually falling. It was, it was such a weird, it was a, such a weird situation. There was like cabins. Like, it literally went from New Mexico, like, Desert, Desert, like, like cactus, 80 degrees. Like cactus, like. 90 degrees. Literally, sun's and then beaming down. Go up a couple hills, boom, snow everywhere. <laughs> 30 bro. degrees. Like, what? Like, <laughs> what? And then uh, we finally got to the top and then we started going down, and all of a sudden the trees break, it stops snowing, and it's just like a beautiful mountain range. Yeah, just like. I was like starstruck. I was like, what is happening? Like, are we are we still in Arizona? The sunset was in the background. Yes. Like. Yeah, the sun was setting over the like un, like over the mountains and it was just, it was crazy. But just a, like pure luck that we got to see that. Overall, great, great spring yeah. break. It was, you know, it was cool. I ain't gonna lie. Miss Joby, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> if you're watching this right now, listen. I have a proposition, all right? I Joby. already told him that we're going to Colorado. Me, we're going to the An- cabins. Mrs. Anderson, my bad. You know, that's more formal, you know what I'm saying? Mrs. Anderson. Um, so this spring break, you know, Nick, Nick told me that, you know, you guys are, where are you going, Colorado? Yes. You guys are going to Colorado. All right? We're getting a cabin in the woods. Getting a cabin in the woods in Colorado. A little family trip, you know, nothing too... Because spring break is the only listen, time listen. that the whole but family can get together. I prophesize. Is that even a word? Prophesize? No, I said prophesize. Oh, prophesize? Yeah, it's not a word. <laughs> I declare, or you, I no, you, insist, You're proposing. Yeah. I'm proposing that this spring break, you let Nick, you know, go with the boys. Um, <laughs> We had a very, we had a very, we had a lot of core memories last spring break. We had a very good bonding experience. It brought us, brought us closer in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we combined our friend groups from back home. My Nebraska friend group, his Texas friend group, they combined. You know, it was just a great, overall great experience. And I think that me, along with the help of my colleagues such as Hamilton, um, Kip, um, who else? Maybe some other, oh, uh, uh, Brooke and Ali. Um, we might, you know, convince you or sway you to let this here young man go with us. Um, Where are we going? I don't know yet, but <laughs> go with us um, this spring break because, you know, it's just really, you don't I don't want to take away from yet. the family time, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, and this is the only but time. we do have other breaks, you know what I'm saying? And we haven't been on a family Christmas. vacation. We, we get a two-day break for Christmas. No, nah, this year, we had a bowl game. We had, like, a two-week break. It was in, like, January. Oh, no, it we did. January, though. It's not technically on Christmas, though. We, I mean, I, I remember we, we, got, we, got break, to go, we got to go, wait. We had, a, we had a two-week break in January. That was after, yeah, it was after Christmas. But you can still, like, but, but Christmas, listen, January's but five days. Ryder, but Ryder is still, you know, playing for the Giants, so his schedule does it a lot. How they about, get spring break. They get our spring break. It's lined up perfectly. How about? See, I don't. Unless you could come up with a better time, that we get a week off with the whole family, then 
it's done deal. I'm not gonna lie. So like summer break isn't. No. What? <sighs> Dang, bro. I don't know what to say, but yeah, summer break already passed, so we, we gotta wait another. Well, I mean, you have to wait another. Who say? Who who say we we just can't use a uh, summer? What? Like oh, we do our trip. Oh. In summer. Yeah, but like the spring break is like, oh my god! <sighs> I feel like it's just a better time. And who and who say who's to say that we get lucky enough to have like our friend groups having the same spring break? Because they do have the same spring break. Not all. I mean, it, University things of change. Nebraska things change. And here and Texas have the same. But I mean, Brooklyn Alley will be able to go. Okay. Well. They were in Arizona. All right, anyway, we're getting on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) But do you have any more questions, concerns, thoughts, opinions? I do. I do. Um, (sighs) Let me think. (laughs) No, you don't. (laughs) (laughs) don't. No, no, let me think. think, think. I had had one. You know what? I'm going to think of something different. We, um, how about. I'm gonna give the fans and the viewers a like, chance to ask uh, questions. Yeah, a, a challenge. Okay. You know, I want. Sometimes we kind of run into issues. You know what I'm saying? Not we issues, do. but like problems. Just thinking of questions or like. Sometimes. Not really like. Not even really thinking of questions. Just like. New like we want some new and improved questions. You know what I mean? Questions from the viewers that we could possibly answer. Like do like a Q and A. Like that would be no, that would that would be kind of a Q and A would be, be a cool. great a great addition to the podcast. We'll, we'll we'll probably post something on Twitter or post something on Instagram just asking for some questions. Yeah. Or asking yeah for some the, questions that y'all want to ask us. At the end of the also, day, we are catering to the viewers, so this is true. You know, we want to talk about stuff true. that y'all are interested in or stuff that y'all want to know about. So, yeah. So drop them in the comments, or we might, like you said, post them on Twitter. Yeah. But, I mean, that's it, pretty much. Thank you all for watching, and uh, catch you on the next episode. Appreciate it. Boomer.